Hello, I'm about to do a commentary on a video that I posted uh, a couple weeks ago, the one with the desert thing in it. Uh, this should be helpful for you people that are curious. Well, this is the Desert of Dubai. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the actual title of that desert, but um, it's the one I went to. And uh, there's some wind blowing sand, and that's what a desert is pretty much. A huge area of sand it goes for miles. It's pretty strange, but I guess if you live there a lot, like all those little weird creatures that live among that bush and that rock, they're pretty happy. But if I stayed there, I wouldn't be so happy. They had guys riding around on motor uh, four-wheelers. And, uh, yeah. It was pretty neat, doing tricks. They had guys on motorbikes as well, but I never got any of those guys. And, uh, there he goes, kicking dirt. This is footage of us um, driving around. It was much like a roller coaster going over all the dunes and the hills and the sand mountains. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to call those things, but um, it went on for a while. I was with a guy named Williams, and he said he'd never seen me laugh so much in my entire life, or in all the time that he knew me. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I liked it got to see something I never seen before. A huge area of sand. It was like the beach without the water, pretty much. Ever been to the beach? Ever just not look at the water? That's what it was like. <laughs> uh, this music, this stuff I made before I left for, um, go on this trip. <laughs> um, and it's been a while since I've gotten back to that equipment. I miss that equipment. It's the equipment I feel most comfortable with and it allows me to do the most warm and realistic sounding recordings. I have a new method of recording now but I'm still figuring things out. Yep, the desert, like a roller coaster, and Toyota Land Rovers, or whatever those things were. Pretty cool. And uh, here they took us to a little place, it was like a little camping area, and they had camels for us to ride. There's Williams. There's the camel I later rode on. And that's the Arabian guy. I don't know what to call him. But he was speaking Arabic and leading around the camels for us to ride. I kind of wish I had his job at the time. It's like, that'd be a good job. Just pulling around camels all day. speak some strange language at. There's Williams. Williams is petting the camel. He, he's one of those people that believes all animals love him. <laughs> he's like, this is some crazy stuff. This is the footage of us riding the camel. The camel we were on when we were, when it was time to sit. We had just finished riding him for like two minutes and then the camel didn't want to sit. He was like the oldest and most stubborn. And so when we stopped to get off, we got to sit on him even longer because he was already, he just was too old to sit. Didn't want to sit. And there's an airplane in the sky somewhere up here. There it goes. 
I've watched this a little too much. I don't know what those girls were doing in front of us. Guide us, mister. Guide us back to where we came from, sir. It's time for the camel to sit. The first one sits pretty quickly. There we go. This is Williams. He's smoking a hookah. I never smoked the hookah. I decided not to. I didn't know what would happen to me. It smelled nice though. This guy is spraying embers for the hookahs. For coals. That's the drink I had last that night. And this is kind of like a general shot of the area. As well as this one. And later that night there was a belly dancer. That's her. She uh, taught everyone how to belly dance later. I never participated in any of that. I don't know why, but I didn't want to do that. <laughs> this is on the ride home, back through the desert in the dark. It was pretty bizarre. You couldn't really see that far in front of us, as you can see. And yet the guy knew exactly where to go because of all the tracks that were left. He just kept following those. As you can see, uh, up the head, some lights. That was the road. We went over a road and back onto the desert. I don't know why. We just could have gone back on the road, but he went through the desert. Again. And this is a, a cricket game that was playing on the radio. I thought it was kind of interesting that. Uh, People in Dubai were really into cricket. There's me waving goodbye, and here's me saying goodbye. Goodbye.